The deep sea is the largest habitat on the planet, taking up 95% of Earth's living space, yet it remains the final frontier of our own world. We know a lot about Mars and Martians. We've sent rovers to another planet, but the deepest parts of our own ocean? Practically an alien world. Scientists say we know more about the surface of the sun than the ocean. So what exactly is the deep ocean? The first 200 meters? That's the sunlit zone, home to most of the marine life we recognize. Colorful coral reefs, schools of fish, and unfortunately plastic pollution. But below that, things get weird. Once you hit the twilight zone at 200 meters, the light starts fading fast. And past 1,000 meters, it's a pitch black abyss, a realm where sunlight never reaches, where creatures glow like neon signs, and where the pressure could crush a human like an empty soda can. So, let's dive into 15 deep sea secrets that will blow your mind. And trust us, once you hear them, you'll definitely want to learn more about this mysterious world. Number 15. The ocean holds a lot of history. The ocean is the ultimate time capsule, a vast sunken archive of human history that puts any museum to shame. Beneath the waves, entire ships from Viking raids, Spanish treasure fleets, and World War II battles sit frozen in time. Some hold lost cargo worth millions, while others are eerie reminders of tragedies, like the Titanic, silently resting in the abyss. And it's not just ships, lost cities, ancient artifacts, and even entire civilizations have been swallowed by the sea. Take the city of Heracleion, an Egyptian metropolis that disappeared beneath the Mediterranean over a thousand years ago, only to be rediscovered in 2000. Cold, deep waters preserve wood and metal for centuries, meaning some wrecks are so intact they look like they sank yesterday. Scientists believe millions of undiscovered wrecks are still out there, waiting to be found. While museums tell us history's highlights, the ocean keeps its secrets locked away, daring us to dive deeper. Number 14. The deepest part of the ocean is Challenger Deep. The Mariana Trench is deep, really deep. But the deepest point? That's Challenger Deep, a mind-bending 36,070 feet below sea level. If you could drop Mount Everest into it, the peak would still be over a mile underwater. This isn't just any deep hole. It's the deepest place on Earth. A world so extreme that only a handful of people have ever seen it with their own eyes. Temperatures hover just above freezing. The pressure is 1,000 times greater than at sea level. And the darkness is absolute. Yet despite these impossible conditions, life still exists down there. Scientists have found ghostly amphipods, strange snailfish, and even bacteria that survive by eating rocks. Only a few humans have dared to venture to this crushing abyss, including James Cameron in 2012, who piloted a submarine solo to the bottom. Challenger Deep remains one of Earth's greatest mysteries, an unexplored alien world right here on our planet. Number 13. The Pressure of the Bottom of the Ocean Ever crushed an empty soda can with your hand? Now imagine that same force multiplied by 16,000 pounds per square inch. Well, that's the kind of pressure waiting for you at the ocean's deepest points. 1,000 times greater than what we experience at sea level. If you somehow tried to dive that deep without protection, your body would be flattened in an instant. To put it into perspective, the weight pressing down at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is like having 50 jumbo jets stacked on top of you. It's so extreme that submarines exploring these depths have to be built with thick titanium walls. And even then, the risk of implosion is real. Yet somehow, creatures like the Mariana snailfish or blobfish live here. Their bodies are soft and gelatinous, allowing them to withstand the pressure without being crushed. Nature always finds a way, but for humans? This is one place we definitely don't belong. Just watch the Ocean 11 animated video to get an idea of what it would be like to experience this intense pressure. It's just hellish. Number 12. 
Bizarre, bioluminescent creatures. When sunlight vanishes, life gets creative. Well, not for us humans. In the deep sea, 90% of creatures glow in the dark, producing their own eerie light through a process called bioluminescence. These living glow sticks don't just shine for fun, it's all about survival. Some use their lights to attract prey, others to scare off predators, and some even communicate with glowing signals. The anglerfish dangles a glowing lure in front of its mouth to bait smaller fish, only to snap them up in an instant. The firefly squid creates mesmerizing blue patterns to confuse predators. Even jellyfish can flash bright colors as a last-ditch effort to startle attackers. And here's the super crazy part. Scientists believe we've barely scratched the surface of bioluminescent life. There could be thousands of glowing species we haven't even discovered yet, hiding in the pitch-black abyss, lighting up the deep in ways we can't even imagine. Number 11. The ocean is home to mountains taller than Everest. Everyone knows Mount Everest is the tallest mountain on Earth, right? Well, we feel pretty bad to break your heart, but not exactly. In reality, the ocean is hiding even bigger mountains, but since they're underwater, they don't get the same fame. Take Mauna Kea in Hawaii. From base to peak, it stretches over 33,500 feet, making it the tallest mountain in the world, if we count the part that's submerged. Then there's the Mid-Ocean Ridge, a mind-blowing 40,000-mile-long underwater mountain range that circles the planet like a hidden spine. Some of its peaks rise higher than the Rockies, but since they're beneath miles of water, they remain unseen. What's wild is that these mountains are constantly growing. They form as magma rises from the Earth's crust, slowly building new peaks that push the seafloor apart. The biggest, most extreme landscapes on Earth aren't on land. They're hiding beneath the waves, waiting to be explored. Number 10. There are lakes and rivers under the ocean. Lakes and rivers inside the ocean? Sounds like something out of a fantasy novel, but they exist. And they're some of the weirdest places on Earth. These eerie bodies of water called brine pools are so salty that they don't mix with the surrounding ocean. Instead, they form their own separate lakes with distinct shorelines, currents, and even waves, all happening deep underwater. These brine pools aren't exactly friendly. They're so toxic that most marine life dies instantly upon entering. The water is loaded with hydrogen sulfide and methane, creating an environment where only the toughest organisms can survive. Some deep-sea creatures like mussels and bacteria have adapted to thrive here, feeding off the chemical-rich waters in ways scientists still don't fully understand. Even crazier? Scientists think brine pools could be clues to alien oceans, like the salty seas beneath Jupiter's moon Europa. Studying these bizarre underwater lakes might help us understand what life could look like on other planets. Number 9. Hydrothermal vents are deep-sea oases of alien life. You'd think nothing could survive in the freezing pitch-black depths of the ocean. No sunlight, insane pressure, near-boiling water temperatures. Sounds uninhabitable, right? Well, not for the deep-sea weirdos living around hydrothermal vents. These underwater hot springs spew scalding, mineral-rich water into the ocean, creating an ecosystem unlike anything else on Earth. Instead of relying on sunlight, these creatures feed off chemicals from the vents in a process called chemosynthesis. And we're not talking about tiny microbes. We're talking about giant blood-red tube worms, blind crabs, and translucent fish that thrive in total darkness. Some scientists think these vents hold the key to how life on Earth began billions of years ago. Others believe they could show us how alien life might exist in the oceans beneath Jupiter's moon Europa. Either way, these vents are proof that life always finds a way, even in the most brutal places imaginable. Number 8. The ocean is hiding more gold than all of human history. There's gold in the ocean, and a lot of it. 
Scientists estimate that around 20 million tons of dissolved gold are floating in the seas. If we could extract it all, every person on Earth would be sitting on a fortune. But don't get too excited. The gold is so diluted that pulling it out is practically impossible with today's technology. Unlike gold nuggets on land, this stuff is spread molecule by molecule in the water. Even if someone cracked the code to extract it, the process would likely cost way more than the gold itself is worth. Then there's the sunken treasure. Ships loaded with gold bars, lost in shipwrecks for centuries. Some have been found, but many more are still out there, buried beneath the waves. So, while the ocean is basically one giant treasure chest, don't expect to cash in anytime soon. If you're free and don't have anything to do in your life, well, then you can take on the challenge and go find some gold. You never know. Maybe you'll get lucky. Number 7. Giant Squid Are Real-Life Sea Monsters For centuries, sailors told stories of massive tentacled beasts capable of dragging entire ships underwater. If you don't know, well, they call it Kraken. But then, it turns out, they weren't just making it up. Giant squid are very, very real, and they are absolute units, growing up to 60 feet long. But here's the freaky part. We almost never see them. These deep-sea giants live in the dark, unexplored depths, far beyond where humans can easily observe them. In fact, the first ever video of a live giant squid wasn't captured until 2012. That's how elusive they are. They also have huge eyes, some of the biggest in the animal kingdom, which help them detect even the tiniest traces of light in the deep. And their suckers? Lined with razor-sharp hooks that allow them to latch onto prey or fight off sperm whales, their only known predators. Basically, they're living proof that the ocean is still full of mysteries we haven't even begun to unravel. Number 6. The ocean could hold the cure for deadly diseases. Forget hospitals. The ocean is nature's ultimate pharmacy. Many marine creatures produce unique chemical compounds that could be the key to treating some of the world's deadliest diseases. For example, Scientists have discovered that deep-sea sponges contain powerful anti-cancer properties, while compounds found in seaweed could be used to fight viruses. Even bacteria near hydrothermal vents are being studied for their potential to create new antibiotics, which could help in the fight against superbugs. Some of these ocean-based medicines are already in use, but the real potential is still untapped. With 95% of the ocean unexplored, scientists believe there could be countless undiscovered compounds waiting to be found. Number 5. The Deep Ocean May Hold the Secret to the Origins of Life How did life begin? Some scientists believe the answer lies in the deep sea, specifically around hydrothermal vents. These underwater hot springs create the kind of extreme conditions that could have sparked the first living organisms billions of years ago. Unlike surface life, which depends on the sun, vent ecosystems thrive on chemical energy, which means life could technically exist in similar environments on other planets. If life can form in the deep sea, it could also exist in the oceans beneath Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. In other words, Studying Earth's deep-sea environments might just help us find extraterrestrial life. The origins of life on Earth and the search for aliens? They might be more connected than we ever imagined. Number 4. We have better maps of Mars than our own ocean floor. We've mapped 100% of Mars in high resolution, down to its craters and mountains. But the ocean floor? We've only mapped about 20% of it in detail. That means we have a better understanding of a planet 140 million miles away than we do of our own backyard. Why? Water. Unlike satellites that easily photograph land, deep sea mapping requires sonar, and even the best sonar struggles in the vast, pitch black depths. The deeper you go, the harder it is to get a clear picture. Most of the maps we have, they're rough estimates, not high-definition images like what we have of Mars. So, while NASA can pinpoint tiny rocks on the red planet, 
We still don't know what's lurking in the deepest trenches of our own world. Sunken cities, new species, ancient secrets. The truth is, we have no idea, and maybe we'll never have one. Number three, the largest deep sea fish. The Greenland shark is a true deep sea giant, often mistaken for a great white because of its massive size, growing up to 24 feet long and weighing over 3,000 pounds. But unlike great whites, these sharks are slow-moving scavengers, known for eating almost anything. Their stomachs have revealed polar bear jaws, reindeer remains, horse bones, and even moose hides, proving that if it's edible, a Greenland shark will eat it. They are rarely seen in the wild. The first photos of one in its natural habitat weren't captured until 1995, and it took until 2003 to record the first video. With their mystery and ancient lifespans, these sharks are like ghostly relics of the deep. Number two, the great depths are measured. Using TNT. Before high-tech sonar, scientists used a more explosive method to measure the ocean's depths, dropping TNT into the water and recording the echo to estimate distance. This technique, called bomb sounding, was used to map some of the deepest trenches on Earth, including the Mariana Trench, Kermadec, Kuril Kamchatka, Philippine, and Tonga Trenches, all plunging beyond 32,808 feet into the abyss. While sonar and modern mapping have improved accuracy, the early TNT method still provided surprisingly close results. However, scientists questioned its sensitivity as different seafloor materials and temperature layers can distort echoes. Still, for decades, explosions were the best tool for exploring the unknown depths of our own planet. Number 1. The Loudest Ocean Sound in 1997, researchers at NOAA picked up a mysterious, extremely loud sound deep in the Pacific. Dubbed the bloop, it was so loud that hydrophones 3,000 miles apart recorded it. Scientists had no idea what caused it. Was it an undiscovered sea creature? A massive underwater explosion? The theories ran wild. For 15 years, the origin of the bloop remained unknown. Then, NOAA concluded that it was likely an ice quake, seismic activity causing icebergs to crack. But not everyone was convinced. Theories still swirl around the mystery of the bloop, with some believing it could be proof of something unknown lurking in the deep. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next 